Hey, I'm Karnak. Welcome back to Star Wars Armada Explained. We're going to look at the Rebel Commander, General Kraken, today. General Kraken, if you look there in front of his name, you're going to see a little bullet point. It signifies he's unique, meaning you can only bring one of him in your fleet. Uh, he's a Rebel Commander, and uh, if you look at the bottom left-hand corner of the card, you'll see there's no upgrade icon symbol there, uh, because commanders can be equipped to any ship except for flotillas. He is faction-specific to the Rebel Alliance, which if you look there next to his point cost, which is 26, you'll see that symbol there. His ability reads, while a friendly small or medium ship is defending against a ship, if the defender is at speed 3 or higher, the attack is treated as obstructed. General Kraken has no FAQ or any other rule clarifications or anything like that. He's very, very straightforward for what he does. Uh, as long as a ship is traveling at speed 3, that ship is, for all intents and purposes, obstructed to any ship-to-ship -ship attack. He does not affect squadrons in any way. Uh, again, not it's pretty clear on the card, but again, some people are like, oh, I'm traveling at speed 3, your squadrons can't shoot me. I'm like, well, no, then that would be like a 40-point card. <laughs> Um, so squadrons, he doesn't affect squadrons, squadrons can still blast away, no problem at all. So remember, typically the only other time ships can be obstructed is either if you're shooting through another ship at a, a different target, or if you're shooting through obstacles. Um, so what he does is essentially he, uh, uh, any ships that can only utilize one die in its attack, they don't get to attack. Um, any ship that typically relies on throwing, you know, three or four die uh, with its attack pool, well, it loses one of those die. So uh, overall, attacks are only marginally less effective. Um, he's great for ships defending at long range because most ships, uh, let's go ahead and if we put the default values on here for rebel ships, the ships that he affects, which is any medium or small ship, Excuse me. Uh, the only ship that he does not work on for the Rebels is the Pelta. The Pelta has a top speed of 2. It can get a quote-unquote Presido speed of 3 if it has engine techs equipped. But again, the highest maximum ship speed it can go is speed 2. So Kraken does not work with the Pelta. But let's look at the rest of the Rebel ships and the one medium ship he works with, well, look at that. Every single ship on here has an evade. So, if something is trying to shoot any of these ships at long range, Kraken comes into effect. You lose a die. Okay, now you roll your tack pool. Guess what? There's still evades there. Those evades also cancel out another die unless you want to spend an accuracy to lock it down, in which case an accuracy is still one less damage or two less damage um, so you're still losing benefit there. So Kraken really makes Rebel ships super survivable at long range. And even when you close in the close range where evades are now useless, you know, as long as they're traveling at speed 3, you know, the opponent still loses a die when attacking. Um, ultimately, though, for his ability and what he does, he's very basic. There's no other crazy interactions. There's no other things that uh, are involved with one exception and that is Jaina's Light. It's a title that equips to a CR-90. Um, Jaina's Light can shoot any target regardless of obstruction or rather Jaina's Light is not obstructed when it makes attacks and that is the only card in the game with this ability right now that can blast through obstruction. So Jaina's Light is not affected for Rebel CR-90s uh, for the one ship anyway. Um, so that's the only exception. There's no other crazy uh, rule interactions, no other crazy things going on other than just the, the one card I pointed out for the title. Um, which if you want to go look at, I do have the Jaina's Light title uh, sway video uh, done already. Um, so that's General Kraken, very straightforward. Of course, if you feel like anything is an error or if I got anything wrong, please be sure to post a message about it. Let me know. Again, cannot stress enough. Your speeds, your ships got to go fast. They got to be at speed three or higher. If they're traveling any slower than speed three, you're not gaining the benefit of his card. Um, so he does take quite a bit of planning and foresight 
to actually use his ability effectively because you know sometimes you don't want to go fast you want to go slow so thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time